Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. We're going to work on the um, Perfect Pearls, so I can show you a few th few other things that you can do. Uh, one thing that you will get is, uh, sorry for the angle, I had to move it to do another video, and uh, I haven't moved it back yet, but I'm going to because I'm going to knock it over. This is Perfect Medium, and this is from uh, Ranger, and it comes with your Perfect Pearls. And what this is for, you can see I use it let's see if let's make sure that it's a uh, it's still sticky but what we're going to do first is we're going to stick it on here and it's a sticky pad <laughs> ink pad okay and I'm going to stamp right here and give it a good push and lift up now let me see. I know it's white and it's going to be hard to see for a minute, but you see, can you see how that bird's in there? Yeah, you can see it very faintly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Perfect Pearls brush. Uh, they do come with a brush. Do I, did I have it on here? No. Here we go. You get a Perfect Pearls brush in the kit as well. Oh my goodness. It's not going to clear up for me. Clear. Clear. Well, then you're not going to be able to see it if I don't clear it. Okay. So let's use purple. This is Perfect Pearls Forever Violet is what it's called. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to give it a tap and I'm going to open it up. Always tap it. You see what happened? It didn't, I didn't make sure I tapped it enough, but anyway. You're just going to take the dog hair off the brush and you're going to tap it in there, give it a little tap, and then we're going to go over. Look how that comes to life with your whatever you're using, whatever color you're using of the perfect pearls. Now, this is great for, um, I'll just lift up some of this that I dropped, you know, for your mixed media to make cards, whatever you want. And, you know, you can make it as dark or as light as you want it. And then I'm going to dust off, let me move this. So you can see, I am a hot mess. Look at that all falling. It was stuck in the little curvy curves. Don't do that to me, please. I'll use that in something else so it won't go to waste. But you can see, and then you can dust off the purple around it. And that is what the uh, perfect medium pad is for with the perfect pearls. You can make a bunch of these, use any stamp that you have, any texture, if you're doing a background or whatever, and do this. And I'll use this, I'll use the perfect pearls in my next. Uh, videos, uh, things that I do so you guys can see some of the, you know, working with the mixed medium. Now, a few things I just want to let you know um, about Perfect Pearls is that the medium itself has resin in it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it, it's why it will stay. Do you know what I mean? Like it won't come off. I'm rubbing it, it won't come off. So it has resin in it. And um, let me find another color here for you. Let's do some pink next. And um, there's so many things that you can do. So many things. I don't have my bag here. A fun thing to do, and maybe I'll do it on this, is take a piece of black paper of whatever you have. I'm going to just paint this paper really black, black really quick. And uh, while I do something else, and then I'll show you. I'm just going to squirt some black on there. Take my brush. And I'll show you, you'll see why in a minute while we're doing this, just going to do this black. I thought I had black paper sitting here, but I don't. But you'll see in a second how wonderful it looks. So we're going to leave that dry right there. And then we're going to bring this back, let you dry, you'll be good. Okay, so the binder for the Perfect Pearls is in the Perfect Pearls itself. Now, something that you can do if you want it to stay permanent, you just give it a quick spray of water and leave it dry, and that will help bind it and keep it permanent. Um, so essentially, you're, you're setting it with the water. Now, I can use regular water. Let's spray a little bit right here because it's already wet. And that is, I'll use this brush to pick up some of this. And that's going to make me a nice little see how it all got watery, but 
but it got you got the essence of that color. There wasn't a lot of it because I didn't have a lot of it on there, but and it's a lot of fun, and it's on there now. It's permanent, so that's that's a fun thing. Um, something else that you can do is emboss. Like take a let's see, take a uh, stamp pad. This is just ink it up pigment ink stamp pad, and it's the gluey. Now, if these run out, uh, you can use glycerin on them. The Frugal Crafter has done that as well. Maybe I'll just use the stamp. So I'm going to just stamp this. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this right here. Not all the way on there, but that's okay. Going to stamp it, going to push it. All right. So can you see how the bird is right there? Okay. Now I need embossing powder. So one second. You need clear embossing powder. This is blue. This will work. Okay. I'm just going to put some embossing powder. And let's see if it's sticky enough to have it stick. Pour a lot. And then you want to pour it off. I should have ripped this out first, but I'm just going to pour it back in. I'm off camera for a second because I'm going to pour that in. Back in there, so I can pour it back in there. Oh, kind of got it. And you can see kind of where it's stuck. And then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to emboss it. Let's see if I can keep it on camera doing this. You can see in the corner. I am really in like jammed in the corner here, but I want the camera to be able to see it, but it's not going to heat up well enough. But you can see it melting. Let's see. A little bit. Yeah, that's a weird angle. And what it did was it blew a lot of it away, but it's embossed on there enough. So then what you will do, I need to ink up my refresh my uh, ink pad. Then you'll take some of your perfect pearls and just dip your brush in and then you can go over. Now you see how that's loose? That's because the the uh, embossing pad was not exactly what I needed. It wasn't as wet as I wanted it. But you can also see, and this is when you have to learn that mistakes can be um, used. Do you know what I mean? Like we make mistakes because we're human and, and things happen. But like I said, my embossing didn't work. So now we'll just put the pink on it and we'll run it in there. I have to fill in my embossing pads. I'll do that another day. But you can see how that pink picks up. Let me put the lid on there so I don't spill that. I wonder if you're gonna be able to see how shiny that is. You can't, I don't know if know. You can see how that pink, and you're just adding some texture and all. I'm very disappointed that my uh, ink pad didn't work. I probably should have checked that first. All right, so here's our paper with our paint, and I'm just going to kind of squish it up. Squish it, squish it up. Okay, now I'll take pink again because of the and I'm going to wet this. I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to take my brush and just you just dip it in there, you see, and you can give it a tap for some of it to come off. So it's not too much, or you can put too much, it's up to you. And I'm just going to go over and get those high, you know, very lightly. This is fun to do with um, on your mixed media as well, to add different papers. You know, when we're doing the backgrounds and stuff in your art journal. As texture and then pick another color. I did this on a design team with the perfect pearls and all. I want to find a bright color. Yeah, this color is awesome. It's called I'm trying to read it and show you, and I can't. It is called Sour Apple. 
funny how we get in habits and I'm used to filming in front of me and then, oh dear, oh well. All right, so I'm just gonna run this on. Little taps here and there. Look how cool that's looking. And it's gonna be permanent, so you don't have to worry. And you just kinda, you know, you could use six colors if you want. And what's a good tip is that if you are playing with your perfect pearls, like we are right now, if you're playing with them, and then I always like to give it a squirt of water just to set it and then leave it dry. And then you'll see how great that's going to look. If you're playing with your perfect pearl, let's say you have clay, cause I'm going to do a video showing it on clay as well. Um, but, and you have perfect pearls maybe spilt out, maybe, uh, you know, on your brush or you want to clean it. Just take paper like this, any kind of paper, white would work as well, but I like the black because it adds that iridescent and then add it onto little pieces of paper like this. Send them in random acts of kindness. So many of us don't have a lot of money to send a lot of uh, a major random act of kindness. Random act of kindnesses are just little things. Make a bunch of these cool papers and send them out. I mean, this is a piece of paper. Look how different this looks from this piece. This, this was this. And you can see it's a completely different piece of paper now. And look how cool that looks with all those colors. And oh, it's just delicious. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm just being silly with my voice, but it's delicious. And then you can even add another color if you want. Let's add some orange, the uh, Mandarin color. So you see, you can go on all day. And I love having some of the black show through in the back. Uh, I mean, in the underneath. But you know, that's on you. That's what you want because it's yours. And then you got this great piece of paper. Again, squirt it with a little bit of water. And you can heat it with the heat gun if you want or whatever to dry it fast. I just like to do pieces of paper like this and then um, leave them dry. Then I'll add them to my, and I love the shine. And you can crumble it up again. Crumbling, crumbling, crumbling it up. Open it, open it, open it up. And look at that. You could just get, oh, just love it. I love it. I wish you guys could really see how awesome that is. Think about using printer paper. Think about using uh, tissue paper. Think about using anything you have extra, uh, you know, magazine, whatever you have, and you can change the whole thing of it and use this as a mixed media background. <laughs> Deliciousness. Okay. So I have all kinds of tchotchkes on here. And one more thing I wanted to show. What was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, and you know what else? Well, I don't have any of my brown bags here. I would do it. I'll do it in the next one. But yeah, that's, that's, you know, I just wanted to show you uh, uh, how to use the regular thing and I'll do it one more time because I love it. I love it. And I'm going to make this a page for something. So I might as well put the birds on it. So I'm just going to, and you don't have to do the whole bird. You can do a leaf. You can do whatever you want because it's yours and yours. And I'm going to stamp it there. Stamp it. Oh, that's right. And I can see it. Uh, yeah, you can see it uh, where it's kind of stamped. The reason I'm doing this, a lot of people ask me to uh, do videos on the Perfect Pearls and Pearl X. Let me use the Pearl X to show you. This is Pearl X, delicious mica, tapping it like I'm professional. Like they do their knives. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. And you can use the lid. You know, I use the lid for a lot of things. Tap it on there because then you can go back in and grab it. And let's go over it. Oh, delicious. Oh, my God. And look, I'm going, whoop, whoop, picking up more. And I'm just brushing it on. And they also have smaller brushes that you can use too, which I'll make sure I have out. I thought I had it out, but I, I obviously didn't. I apologize. Not always with it. Oh, I love it. And then you just kind of dust it off. Now, think of this. Once you uh, do that and it's permanent, and you can give it a little mush of a spray. And then you can go in there and paint in there if you want. Use your paint, watercolor, acrylic, whatever, or paint it out and then stamp over it with your ink, uh, with your uh, Perfect Pearls and then do that outline. Oh my God, that's awesome. I think I might do that later on in the next video. And the reason I'm showing you all this 
again is uh, for people who requested it and um, a lot of you request for me to do a giveaway with Perfect Pearls. So that is what I'm going to be doing next after the contest that I have going on now uh, is done in I think it's three days. And uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a perfect medium and I think a kit of the Perfect Pearls, which I think you might get three in or something like that, uh, for somebody to uh, play and love and have. Look how beautiful. Look. Oh my goodness, it's a bird. You can't see how shiny, but it's delicious. It's delicious. So we got these. I mean, look how cool. And you can go over. Let's see. Let me move over here because, you know, I corner myself into, I think it's a comfort thing. Let me take some water and let's see what happens. My water's dirty, but the bird ain't going. So you see how fun that would be to paint in? Or to paint on. You know, you stamp your bird. Uh, with, you know, whatever, or you do your little thing and then you stamp it with this on top to add a def different dimension. Now, also, something else that you guys uh, had said, a few of you have left comments on the first video that I did, mentioning that you can use the mica uh, eyeshadow that you get, which is usually glittery, you know, shiny, uh, shimmery eyeshadow that you can get at the dollar store and all, and you can use that to get a little bit of extra uh, love on your stuff. Um, you can, which I'm going to do in the next video as well, a, uh, how to make your own, uh, glimmer mists. I love glimmer mists, but you can make it yourself and have some delicious, uh, textures and all that kind of thing and shine and color. And it's a lot of fun. So that is about that for this. Uh, just a few things I wanted to show you again. Um, the video before this had some more things. This is using with what comes with it, which is the uh, perfect medium. It's acid free, which a lot of uh, people, you know, when they're making cards and that kind of thing and selling their art, it's great to have. Uh, I'm also going to show you perfect pearls on um, some clay, which is a lot of fun. So that'll be the next video. I hope that you guys learned something. If you guys have any other suggestions on what you can do with perfect uh, pearls as well, leave them down below. And, um, you know, I'll see you in the next video playing and keep your eye out for the giveaway for the perfect pearls coming up probably in the next uh, week or two. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much and I will see you later.